Welcome to Heavy Metal Monday. Hey, it's Micah Pagano coming here live from Varsity House Gym. Welcome back to another edition of Heavy Metal Monday. So guys, today we got a um, special guest again, Coach Anthony. He's our intern. I introduced him at a previous show. He's been working real hard with us here for the last month and a half. And uh, he did the last show that we did with, uh, with, with uh, Coach Anthony was the Mobility Monster from our Sled RX program. And here I got him joining me today. Something a little bit more miserable today. We're going to do what I call the five minutes of pain. And that's going to be on the Airdyne. The Airdyne is one of our main conditioning tools that we do here at Varsity House Gym. A lot with our clientele, a lot with our uh, athletes as well and mainly because what we like so much about it is that everything together is work, okay? Arms, legs, and the great thing about it as well is low impact. And you don't get those same stress injuries that you do uh, running all the time. So if you got a lot of athletes, especially like a lot of soccer uh, players and tennis players, they really have no off season. They're always, you know, cutting, moving, uh, playing on hard surfaces. You know, to continually running them constantly all the time is really not a good idea. So this is a good way to still get their heart rate up and also get some muscular work. You know, his legs are gonna be burning, his arms are gonna be pumping, and it's a good way to stay uh, low impact and stay off some of the ankles and knees and, and stuff like that. So today, I do what I came up with. It's called five minutes of pain. And what it is, is what we're gonna have is uh, Coach Anthony's gonna take a seat on here and usually for individuals a little bit more advanced uh, with the airdyne and in cardio shape uh, I would usually do this at hundred calories so I'll set hundred calories on the screen and they have to have five minutes to zero out all hundred calories uh, today I'm going to do 85 okay um, Anthony has some experience with this but not too much and he's all but he's got some good cardio output but not as much experience on the airdyne so I'm going to kind of uh, take a little bit off there and we're going to do 85 calories for him. So we're going to do 85 calories. His goal is to zero out 85 calories in five minutes. And what we're going to do is the first 30 seconds, he's going to be pumping his arms and legs together at the same time. It's a running clock. The next 30 seconds, he's going to take his hands off and just pump his legs. Okay? And then the next 30 seconds after that, he's going to put his legs up here on the feet posts, okay, on the foot pegs, and use just his arms for 30 seconds. And that's 90 seconds of work. And after those 90 seconds of work, he'll put his legs back on, keep his hands on, and go back to everything working together. So every 30 seconds, we're gonna switch on how we're performing the airdyne. Okay? This wor works out to be that the last 30 seconds, when we reach four and a half minutes, the last 30 seconds, everything is working together. So the whole idea is to bring in a whole full-blown sprint those last 30 seconds. Now 85 calories, I'm expecting uh, Coach Anthony here to get that done okay in a good amount of time i'm hoping that it doesn't take him the full five minutes uh, i think 100 would be a little bit tougher but we're going to start with 85 today and if it doesn't take you the entire five minutes to do it then you're done and you could build up to this okay so you know if this is something you want to try at your gym or with your clients start with a number that you think would be best for them on the calorie mark and then build up if you see that they zero 60 calories out easily in, in five minutes then each week you kind of build it up by five or ten more calories Okay, make sure you stay tuned at the end of my show for my heavy metal song of the week. Let's do it. Ready, Ant? Yep. Set, go. Okay, Ant. Good, breathing and working. We're good. We got 10 seconds left. Here, okay, 10 seconds left. I would slow your pace down a little bit, save a little energy, five seconds, four, three, two, and hands are off, just legs. You can leave them at your side, good, that's it. That was a good start, good start. You've got about a little over 20 calories burned on that first run, good. Breathing and working, you're good. You're good, breathe, that's it. 15 seconds and then we're gonna switch right to our hands and get our feet off. 10 seconds. Let's go in. Five seconds. Feet on, just arms, just arms. That's it, that's it. You want smooth transition, guys, when you do this. You don't want to lose a lot of steam when you're transitioning to each one. That's it. Doing good, brother. I should have made it 100. 15 seconds left, and then we're gonna put our feet back on and keep the hands on and go back to everything working. 
Five seconds. Three, two, one. Everything working together now. That's it. All right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do too much here. Okay. I would just keep a nice pace. You're doing good. Are right, you doing real good? So just keep a nice pace. Twenty seconds here. Good ant. That's it. Five seconds, and we're gonna go just legs. And hands off, just legs, that's it. Come on now, we're killing a lot of calories here. You're doing good. So, 85 may have been a, a, a number that we could have probably went a little bit higher with you, but still gonna get a good amount of work in. That's it, that's it. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go just arms. And unfortunately for Anthony, I put him directly in our New Jersey hot humid sun to do this. All right, feet up, just arms, just arms, let's go. That's it. Uh, we're gonna kill this, man, let's go. Just keep it good. That's it, keep it rolling. 20 seconds before we put everything on. That's it, breathe and work, breathe and work. 13 seconds, keep your momentum going. Eight seconds, we're gonna put those legs on. Okay, two, one, legs on. Good, that's it. Okay, and so you may zero it out here. You'll have about a little over 90 seconds left. And for the sake of the show, you're gonna finish all 90 seconds. So get that to a zero, let's go. Get that to zero, he's got two and a half calories left. And once you get zero, I want you to slow down now. Just pace yourself out. Now, we got about a minute and 37. Keep working, keep working. No, keep working with the hands. Keep working with the hands. Keep your hands on. Two, one, good. Hands off, just legs now, okay. So we got 90 seconds left. He's zeroed out already, okay. But what we want to do is, you know, I said earlier in the show, if he zeroes it out, you can have him step off, okay. But also, if he does zero it out and you do have some time left, you know that the next time you do this, you're gonna go higher calories. So let him get the work in. Let him feel the five minutes, okay? Let him feel the five minutes, okay? And especially for the sake of the show, we gotta keep moving, you know what I'm saying? All right, we got, okay, now we're gonna go just arms, just arms, okay? We got one minute left, one minute left, okay? All right, I just want you to feel the full five minutes. Let's go in. 15 seconds, we're gonna put the feet back on. The pride of Rutgers University right here. Let's go. Five seconds, we're gonna put our feet back on. You're gonna give me a 30 second sprint in now. Here we go, let's go. Lean into it, give me a good 30 second sprint. Best that you can, it will finish off the five minutes. Let's go, Ant. That's it, brother, 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Five seconds. And time. Nice job, Ant. That is what we call the five minutes of pain. This is what you look like if you do it the right way. Now on to my heavy metal song of the week. Okay guys, now it's time for my heavy metal song of the week. Before we do that, I just want to thank uh, Coach Anthony for being a good uh, team player. Five minutes of pain is not easy. That's something really cool and fun you guys can do with your clients. Try it out on your own, try it out with your clients, try it out in your gym. Uh, really something fun, they'll get them going, get the heart rate up, working really hard. Um, guys, so now we're going to be moving on to my seventh song out of my top ten list, what I think is uh, my personal favorite and what I think is the top ten best songs uh, ever written. And here we're going to go with a band we've mentioned before on the show, and that is Nirvana. Nirvana. We talked about Nirvana before. Nirvana has been uh, one of my all-time favorite bands of all time, and mainly because they were the first like actual rock band I got into uh, when I was like I think seven or eight. I first time I got my first cassette was uh, Nevermind by Nirvana, and then from that moment on, I've been you know one of their biggest fans and and. Uh, you know, the man behind the camera was just uh, sent out an Instagram post uh, a couple days ago with the, the cassette of Nirvana's Nevermind, and, and it got me thinking a little bit. And, uh, 
And we're going to do a song that's not off of Nevermind, but it's off their uh, Unplugged album, and the song is called The Man Who Sold the World. The Man Who Sold the World is uh, one of my all-time favorite Nirvana songs. I think it's personally one of the greatest songs uh, ever written. And the guitar riff behind uh, the, the drumming and Kurt Cobain singing, and Dave Grohl, who I love and is one of, one of the best musicians that there is, um, is just a fantastic uh, drummer. And just, you know, he had a huge part of Nirvana and things that were written, and, you know, I think there's a lot of up and down things that are said about Kurt Cobain, but I think what everyone has to remember the number one thing is he was uh, revolutionary and he changed uh, certain things and, and the genre of music that went from the late 80s to those early 90s and, and, and paved the way for a lot of great bands that, that came along like Pearl Jam and, and Alice in Chains and Soundgarden and uh, so you know Kurt Cobain's always been one of my favorite musicians and one of my favorite uh, musician uh, musical icons in a sense so um, Nirvana's song The Man Who Sold the World off the album the Unplugged album MTV used to do a great thing called Unplug where um, they used to have a lot of bands on and perform in uh, performers on that was basically in a sense where their songs were kind of unplugged the songs were uh, acoustically done uh, the drummers would use brush sticks to have a much softer sound and uh, it was real like intimate and the fans were right around the stage and the, the, the decor the decoration of the stage was how the band wanted it to look and uh, it was really unique and really cool and Nirvana's uh, unplugged with MTV in my personal opinion was the best unplugged performance that there that there ever was and I wished uh, that there was more stuff like that done uh, these days but um, that was it's such a fantastic album great performance and uh, so if you have an opportunity check out the song The Man Who Sold the World by the band Nirvana off their unplugged album it's also off the black album that they came out with several years ago uh, as well okay guys that's it for me uh, once again I enjoy Thanks for having, uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching the show here. Um, if you have any questions or comments for me, get them to me as soon as you possibly can. And uh, make sure you check us out here at varsityhousegym.com. I'll see you guys all next week. And until then, stay happy.